All right, sailors. I know there's a lot of you out there that really feel like you got your sea legs, but there's a couple things that you could be doing different that'll fundamentally change your gameplay. Let's get into it. The first mistake a lot of you guys are making is leaving port without stocking up the ship. And look, I get it. You're eager to set out on your voyage and ready to go get some gold. I mean, we're all greedy pirates after all. But it's going to be vital to the success of your session that you have supplies on your ship. Not only to deal with other players, but also to deal with monsters like the Megalodon and the Kraken. Almost every time I find new players out on the sea, their ship has stock supplies on it. So just take that extra 10 minutes, stock your ship up, and it could change the outcome of your session. The next thing you could change, and this is a personal opinion, is once you do set out on your voyage, don't mark your island. Now this could be a controversial subject and you may have a different opinion, so let me know down in the comments. But here's how I see it. If you don't mark the island, then if somebody else gets on your ship, they won't know where you're going. They might be able to see what kind of voyage you're doing, but they won't be able to tell what specific island you're going to. This next one's going to be a huge difference for those of you still dropping anchor at every single island. Don't do that. Instead. When you pull up to an island and you see the cinematic go across your screen, raise the sails quickly. You'll slow to a stop next to the island, and you'll be able to maneuver yourself into a position where if another player ship pulls up, you'll be able to make a quick escape. So don't drop that anchor at islands, unless you have to, and then if you do, obviously, pull up the sails and raise the anchor. On the topic of being mobile and ready, another thing I see a lot of players doing is just straight up running. Maybe they have one or two chests on board. Not a whole lot to lose. And this is beyond me, especially for new players. If you guys don't have a lot to lose, turn around and get into a fight. Defend yourself. If anything, even if you lose, you may have learned a few things from the fight that you could do different next time. So in my opinion, I would say running is not always the best option, and you can only get better if you practice. Now don't get me wrong, peg plays are a lot of fun, and they have their time and their place but something I highly advise against is carrying kegs on your ship. In almost every situation where you have kegs in your crow's nest, kegs on deck, or kegs below deck, if you get into a fight, the likelihood of those kegs going off is really, really high. So personally, I don't carry kegs on my ship unless I absolutely have to. Moving on to some hand-to-hand -hand style combat, a huge mistake I see a lot of players making is using the blunderbuss like a sniper rifle. The blunderbuss is effectively a shotgun, and it's meant for being used up close. The further you are away from your target, the wider the spread's going to be, and the less damage it's going to do. So if you're running the blunder, make sure you're using it up close. So on this next one, you don't have to take my advice, because players like me are just going to benefit from it. You know those collector's chests? The ones you can open up and put gems and trinkets and skulls in? After you sell all the items inside of those chests, you can turn them in. I see a lot of players continue to leave them on the outpost because I guess they don't know that you can turn them in. But you know, to each their own. You can continue to leave them on the outpost and I'll continue to turn them in for you. Appreciate it. I hope this video helped you out. Leave it a like if it did. If you're new around here and want to see more see these videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Take it easy and see you guys next time.